So we start with cell complexes or CW complexes. So the starting point is always the discrete set X0. So that is nothing but a set of points on the plane. So let us uh, write this down. We start with the discrete set X0. And uh, we just draw two points here. Now, to inductively we build a CW complex, we will now build X1 from X0. So, what is X1? It would mean that we attach one cell to this discrete set. What is a one cell? One cell is nothing but edges or threads or rubber bands of dimension 1 lying in the plane. So, I have attached a circle which is nothing but a thread. So, this attaching is done via a map. So we can call this map an attachment map. It takes the boundary S0 of the X, X, uh, of the one cell and attaches it to X0. Similarly, we can build X2 from X1 using the attachment map. We take the boundary and attach it to the previous cell. This will become more clear. So what I have done, I have taken X1, I have drawn it again from before and then I attach a 2 cell to it. 2 cell is nothing but a rubber sheet which I attach in here. So you see I have filled it up with the disk. So a good way to understand attachment map is if I write it like this. X2 is nothing but X1 and it's disjoint union with the disk. So you see I have filled the disk inside. So I need to specify what this filling is. So this filling is nothing but I have taken the boundary of the disk and attached it to the X1 cell. So that attachment is done via the map S1 to X1. So this is nothing but X1 disjoint union with the interior of a 2 cell. And interior of a 2 cell here is the interior of disk. So you can see you took X1 which was two circles and you filled them up with the interior of a disk. And uh, that is shown yeah, the modulo map. So this E alpha 2 I want to write what does it mean for 1 cells is E alpha 1 and for 0 cell E alpha 0. So this is the general procedure to build a CW complex. So you for Xn you start from Xn minus 1. You have an attachment map where you will take the boundary of the disk and attach it to the Xn minus 1. So how is it built? take xn uh, which should be disjoint union of xn minus 1 and a disk and then you have to identify the disk boundary of the disk with the xn minus 1. So take x from the previous xn minus 1 that is n minus 1 skeleton is called xn minus 1 n skeleton is called xn x2 was 2 skeleton. So yeah taking the boundary of the disk and attaching it to xn minus 1. So this is the general procedure. Let me write this as the attachment map. Or the attaching map. Yeah, and this as uh, from before, it's nothing but n minus 1 skeleton. And you take a disjoint union with the interior of the n cell. So this procedure could go all the way from uh, n to infinity and uh, to make sense at infinity we just give xn the weak topology. Uh, to understand more about what this topology is I would say you should read Hatcher uh, start on page 5 and uh, then you can go all the way to the appendix. But uh, that is pretty much it I mean that is the procedure to build a CW complex.